So I wanted to sit down with you and give you some insight into what it's like growing a business, my experience, and some of you know the tricks of the trade, the, the processes that I use and my team uses here to continue to scale year over year over year. Because I know part of growing a relationship is everything is two-sided, right? You can't just take, take, take. You also have to give. And we still follow that same process today. Obviously today, profit margin and profits are substantially higher, much higher, and they continue to grow. But that's because now we have the power on our side, the power of the green to continue to negotiate and plus we have insight and experience. You know, uh, something you want to look at is manufacturers. Like for instance, let's say a supplement manufacturer. That supplement manufacturer, they'll have coupons, promotions that they offer to their distributors and so the distributors could pass it on to the brick and mortar so the brick and mortar could pass it on to the consumer and that's how the supply chain works. Well, they'll have those promotions that run throughout the year. They might give it to distributor A in January, distributor B in February, distributor C in March, distributor D in April, and then rinse, wash, and repeat until the end of the year. So if you're able to have multiple suppliers in one category and then you're able to see their promotions, their offerings, you can essentially buy on prom promotion all the time. And then once you start purchasing larger orders or you've grown a relationship with them, maybe you can get a volume discount or some sort of discount from them and you can get that on top of the promotion price. And that's how you start conquering to Amazon. That's how you start taking over listings and ensuring that you get a high percentage of buy box and ensuring that you're profitable, very profitable on these listings. So you need to look at all the different discounts that are offered. Another thing is you need to understand your cash flow, especially early on. You need to understand your expenses and limit your expenses. You have to keep your expenses low and then you have to source correctly. And that's why we go into such great detail because you don't want to make those critical mistakes early on and purchase a product that ends up losing you thousands of dollars or you sit on the product. Right, so these are all things you need to think about. It's part of your cash flow too. So for instance, maybe you can't sit on a product that you have to flip it because you don't have the cash flow allowance. So you just have to quickly sell out of it. Well, you gotta make sure to be using the charts. You gotta make sure to be looking at the data to limit, mitigate your risk, mitigate your loss. And then as you grow, as you learn, pass that on to your team. You know, one of the biggest struggles I had early on was I was definitely one of those control freaks when it came to the business. I wanted to make sure this was done correctly and this was done correctly. And by correctly, I mean in the specific way I want to do it. Uh, you know, I felt that no one could do it as quite as good as me because no one had the passion I do. And maybe that's true about the passion part, but you will find people if you care about them, if you have employees and you take care of them and you don't act like a boss, but you're a leader, they will want to grow with you. They will be willing to take a pay cut for a little bit as, as long as you have a vision and a promise. And that's what I did early on, right? I remember that as soon as I leave this office, if someone's working for me, they're a mother, they're a sister, they're a daughter, they're a wife. You know, I, I'm definitely not above them. We are just two humans on the same level. And when you treat people like that, you get that same treatment back and then you get the passion and the care for your business that you have, they will also mirror that. You know, any hurdles you're having, there's no question that there's no stupid question, right? If you, if you feel that it's something that concerns you, bring it up. We've probably been there or we know somebody that has and we'll be able to shine some light on it. Just all I say, if there was, if there was two words I could use, it's take action. No matter what, don't stop, persevere, take action. You will continue to learn. You'll continue to get better, improve, thrive, and eventually succeed. Stay